2022. I cannot believe it's been like a week and a half since I made a YouTube video, especially because in December I made one every single freaking day. But I am back. Uh, I was gone because I unfortunately caught COVID. Omicron got me. I actually don't know if it was Omicron, but I think it was Omicron. I don't know. I'll talk about that later and go into like what it was like if in your if you're curious today is my last full day of quarantine today is monday we're getting back on track uh it i was like ready to hit the ground running in the new year and then i literally tested positive on january 1st so we're just gonna start a little later today i got up and did like my morning routine honestly last week was kind of a good like it made me remember why I wanted to do some of the stuff I had set up because um, I was on my phone a ton last week. I was like waking up, laying in bed, looking at my phone, like different habits that I want to change for this year. I realized why I want to do those things, um, like being outside, stuff like that. Anyway, because I was inside basically all of last week. It also snowed like three out of five days. So that's part of why I was inside so much. But Anyway, today I'm going to get started on a bunch of new habits. Uh, I definitely probably am biting off more than I should, but that's my personality is to just like head first dive into habits. Um, so I'm going to talk about the habits I'm going to be taking on this year or at least this month. I want to just, you know, try these things out and see how they go, see if they're worth keeping in my schedule. And then also I got a package from Abercrombie. So I wanted to film trying on some of that stuff because I got some really cute stuff I'm excited about. Oh, and I, bunch, I have a bunch of Amazon stuff to open. So I'll probably open some of that. Um, I'm very excited because I'm doing an Amazon Live this Wednesday, which this video is going out on Wednesday. So if you see it before 12 p.m., Please come watch my Amazon live stream. It's going to be really fun. I'm talking about winter essentials. I'll probably share some of them in this video, but um, I want to do a live stream on Amazon live. So I'm going to be talking about like hats, gloves, jackets, um, some sweaters I've gotten recently, all good stuff. So that is the plan. I got to prep for that. And yeah, that should be the day. This feels a little bit stereotypically like new year, new me. But I'm gonna make a smoothie, um, mostly because this weekend we cleaned out our pantry and our freezer and our fridge and I found that I have a bunch of smoothie ingredients in my freezer that I haven't used in a long time so I kind of want to use them up just because I know like I don't want to leave them in there forever. The other thing is I juiced a bunch of oranges this weekend because we had some going bad so I have fresh orange juice and actually fresh grapefruit juice to put in the smoothie so I think that's gonna be really tasty and super like refreshing. All right, let's try it on. Okay, first thing I'm the most excited about is this sweatsuit. It's this beautiful blue. It's actually like the same color as this wall. Um, this is in collaboration with the sister studio IG, who I love on Instagram, Jen Reed. It obviously has like matching pants too. So let's try it on. Okay, this is already, I love this. It feels like a worn in sweatshirt. I like that it's cropped. I love the neckline. I mean, in the picture, she wears it like off the shoulder a little bit. I don't know. I think this is so cute and so comfortable okay let's try the pants these are also in an xxxl so like a three x these are these are really nice feeling i love the like ruched little part of the hem they do look really short though i think they're supposed to be cropped but they look pretty short i moved you guys down so you could hopefully see these pants these are so comfortable they are short they hit like i don't know it's probably kind of an awkward length really but i don't think i care like i I don't know, I, they're so nice and comfortable. I honestly wonder if I should have sized down in the top just because it is so oversized and I feel like maybe it would be a little cuter, but I feel like if I wore it like off the shoulder a little bit, like I just feel like this is like the cutest like Sunday outfit that you could like run errands in, but it's mostly for lounging. I like that they made it in color because I'm bad about buying gray and black sweats all the time. So having like a fun colored set, it's a mood, I like it. Okay, next up are these 90s straight leg jeans. These are ultra high rise. I've tried this style before in a, in like two different like washes and they fit different. I'm interested to see how these fit. These are a 36 long and I think when I got them and I liked them, they were just a 36. So, and I have another pair that are 36. Let's try these on. Okay, these jeans, these suckers are a little bit tight. They're like, they were a little hard to get on. They technically fit and I guess like, they definitely have that like nice like, compression feel but i like wouldn't wear these like they just i wouldn't live my life in these also the 36 long 
they're long like you definitely don't need long unless your legs are super long or you're super tall because I'm 5'10 and I guess if I wanted to wear these with like heels but I don't wear heels I like these jeans but maybe maybe at a 36 I don't know I still feel like there's just like not enough room for my butt in them like they're just a little bit too tight across my butt okay I don't understand why but these fit amazing these are the same jeans the 90s straight leg ultra high rise but they're the ones with the rips in the knee and they fit so much better they're so comfortable they fit my body really nice um they're definitely more of a constricting jean like it's more of a regular denim not a stretch denim my universal standard denim is normally most of them are really stretchy and comfortable these are a little bit more like these are like gonna suck you in these are like going out jeans in my mind not like lounging around the house jeans I think they're really cute I just really want them without the rips but they literally the ones I've tried in this same style are so much tighter so I don't understand why but maybe I need to order them just the other ones in a size up but I'll link these exact ones with like the color name so you guys can get these if you want to try these because these ones definitely fit more like true to size I would size up in some of the other washes I hate when they do that Make my butt look good. I hope you guys enjoyed that haul. I am so obsessed with that sweatsuit and this pair of, I'm still wearing them, the um, ripped jeans. I'm really excited about them. But those black jeans are obviously going back because I don't think I could sit down in them. So I wanted to sit down now and talk a little bit about the habits I'm starting in 2022. And I guess I could touch on what last week was like having COVID. Um, so basically, I just got like a headache to start with, which for me is super common. I get headaches all the time. So I didn't think much of it. I also had gotten my booster on Thursday. So I thought maybe it was like some residual, you know, sickness from that. Um, and then I started Saturday. So Saturday I had a headache. Then Saturday night I was like, ah, this is like really a headache. And like ibuprofen wasn't cutting it. And then I started to feel kind of cold and like a little shaky. We were actually at the lake with my whole family, which was a bummer. But I'll skip ahead and say that none of my family caught it, which is a miracle. Um, but yeah, nobody got sick, which was great. They're all boosted. And I think that's why. Anyway, um, like I think I waited too long to get my booster. Anyway, um, so I started feeling kind of shaky. I like laid down for a while. And then that night I went to, I like ate dinner and I was fine. Like, I don't know. I didn't feel like that weird. I don't know. Um, and then the next morning I woke up and I was like, mm, I think I'm sick. So we went, we like went ahead and left as soon as we could so that we could just get home. And then we stopped at a bunch of CVSs to see if we could find a test because we didn't have any and we couldn't find one, couldn't find one. We stopped like literally at 10 places and they didn't have them. So we were like, dang, I guess we'll just like isolate until we find out. That afternoon, my cousin told me that he had one. So he actually gave me his, which was super nice because uh, it's just like nice to know like I just wanted to know if I had it or not and it was positive like right away I actually like it's funny because I was almost like I don't want to say I didn't care but I was just kind of like at that point I felt sick and was just like if I have it okay if I don't have it I'm still sick so <laughs> I didn't feel like super whatever I'm kind of just glad that I tested positive so I just knew and I could like kind of start my quarantine from there so um monday through like wednesday ish i wasn't feeling great um sort of long story short turns out i have some sort of slight asthma and covid really like aggravated it like otherwise i felt pretty fine like i felt like i just had a cold like a runny nose and like a sore throat a little bit um but like with i ended up kind of having like chest tightness um it feels like and i don't know if everyone has this but if you are like outside in the winter and you are like running or something and you're you get like cold air in your lungs and it just feels like tight and uncomfortable that's how it felt um so i called my doctor and i got they put me on a steroid and then i they also put me on a z-pack and then um gave me a new inhaler because i had an inhaler from high school but i don't use it that much because i don't really have like i don't think i have asthma but i guess i have like sickness induced asthma and like cold weather induced asthma so anyway i got a new inhaler so the cup for a couple days that was pretty uncomfortable and just like the problem is then the steroid makes you um kind of shaky and like your heart race and stuff so it just was like i just felt uncomfortable like i just wasn't i was like working and stuff because i was fine and also i like needed to be distracted but i didn't feel great so anyway that's what like long story short like yeah it's not that bad but 
I wouldn't want you to get it. Like you just, just avoid it if you can. Like get your vaccines, get your booster because it's just not, it wasn't fun. I know that, I don't know, whatever. I just, after having it, like, yeah, like I'm very lucky to be fine, but it's just like, no one wants to be sick. I don't know, I just like, that's the only way I can look at it, but whatever. But that being said, I was excited last week to get started on my like New Year's resolutions. I did like a whole vision board and I didn't end up making like a lot of specific goals, but I just kind of decided to do a few new habits. Um, like I feel like I have a vision for what I want my life and mostly career to be, but um, otherwise like I'm really happy with the way things are right now. So I feel like it's just kind of like fine tuning like little pieces of it. So I thought I would just talk about the habits I'm including in my days or trying to um, because maybe you'll want to too. Okay, the first habit I'm committing to is no phone in bed. And this is one that last week really proved to me that I don't want to keep doing this. For a long time, I was kind of like, it doesn't really matter. But then I kind of, I stopped doing it for a couple days and I just realized how quickly, like waking up and looking at Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or whatever, I, most of the time it's fine, but every once in a while I'll scroll onto someone being mean or not even to me, but just in general, people being negative. Like it's just the chance for me to see something that kind of fills my brain with like negativity. And honestly, negativity on the internet is plentiful. Like there's so much, there's so many people that are unhappy and griping and, uh, I just, I don't need to see it first thing in the morning and I don't feel like it sets my day up for, you know, me to be positive if I'm just like seeing negativity from the moment I wake up. I also listened to a podcast from The Skinny Confidential about focus and one of the things she talks about is stop consuming so much content, especially if you're making content yourself. Like you want to have like a fresh mind and I realized that I was like using my phone every morning to wake up and it kind of made my brain like feel like it was full of crap. And I've heard people say that before, but for the longest time I was like, no, it's not that big of a deal. Like who cares? But I finally feel like I've like hit the breaking point where I'm like, no, I really don't want to see what my, you know, uncle Bob has to say about politics, like at 7am. Like I don't, you know what I mean? Like I don't need to see that. I'm not in a place where I can like manage those feelings as easily. So I feel like it's just a good thing to kind of cut out. The second thing that kind of goes along with that is meditating. Max and I listened to this great podcast all about all the different things with like ADD and ADHD and stuff. And one of the things, I don't think I have ADHD or ADD, but I definitely have struggle focusing sometimes. And he talks about, you know, ways to increase your focus. And one of them was meditating. They like statistically have found it's super effective. So we decided to start meditating every morning. Um, we have done it most mornings. We haven't gotten every single morning, but I definitely noticed a difference. I feel like I feel calmer all day. I feel like just better honestly it's just a good few minutes of stillness and i think that coupled with not being on my phone is like a great morning routine okay next thing is i want to do 150 minutes of movement a week i know that sounds kind of random but there was this whole study done and they found that people who do 150 minutes of movement every week consistently like over their lifetime live longer are healthier they said they found it was like the biggest indicator of someone's health over like weight or bmi or all that kind of stuff which if you know me you know i don't really believe that weight is an indicator of health but i do think that activity is one of the things that we all can do to make ourselves healthier that has no like with no implication on our size like i mean movement for the fact of like your cardiovascular system uh, for me, my mental health is hugely impacted by my exercise, my sleep. Like, I just feel like it's one of those things. It's kind of like drinking water. That's just like a catalyst for all these other good things. Like, it's just a good habit. Basically, that comes out to like 30 minutes, five days a week. But I like that with 150 minutes, I can kind of like mix that up. If I like go to an hour long workout class, I can do 20 minutes here or 15 minutes here or whatever. And it's just, just like fit it in when I can um, and just focus on getting in consistent movement not on like having a perfect workout routine because i'm just i just don't i don't love working out if i'm being totally honest it's just not something i'm like totally in love with but i do know the value of it so i want to make it part of my life in a manageable sustainable way for me next thing is water i was really bad about drinking water but while i was sick i was like i got up my water game so i drank so much water and i was like wow my skin looks better like i'm feeling good like 
it obviously is good for you i've been really bad about that i actually just ordered a water bottle i think it's already here so i'll show you guys that when i open it okay and then the last habit i'm trying to add to my life is called the fly lady method so it's a cleaning sort of schedule there's like a whole there's all this stuff about it and i don't really know everything about it but I basically downloaded a like routine, like a fly lady routines and customized it to work for like my life. Um, I can put the link for it down below. I didn't make the template, but in case you guys want to do something similar, basically the concept is once a week you do a one hour, they call it a weekly home blessing, but basically it's just like your weekly clean and it's all your like weekly tasks. And then every other day, so like four other days of the week, you do 15 minutes of a zone. So there's a few different there's like four different zones and basically one each week so i'm interested to see how it works for me it sounded like it sounds initially like oh i'm not gonna be cleaning things often enough because like each bathroom is just in a zone so like that's only cleaning your bathroom once a month but there's like daily tasks that are like wiping down bathrooms and like you know washing the towels and stuff like that so it's like only scrubbing your shower once a month but it's like keeping it clean otherwise all the time so I don't, I, well, I'm interested to see how it goes and I might just have to like kind of change it for like our lifestyle and like our house and stuff, but I'm trying to commit to that. Basically the big thing here is trying to clean every day instead of having to do big deep cleans on the weekends. So that's sort of my whole COVID story and all the habits I'm gonna try to add to my day. I feel like that's pretty reasonable. I was going to try to do like a super strict morning routine, but literally after one day, I was like, I don't like this. I'm really lucky to work for myself. I don't need to have a super scheduled, super perfect morning routine. I'm really lucky that I generally wake up between like 7 and 7.30 naturally and setting an alarm somehow, if I have to wake up to an alarm, I'm just like automatically annoyed. I really don't need to have like a super stru like structured, like I wake up at seven and I make my bed at 7.05, like I really don't need that. I think now we should go open all that Amazon stuff. Okay, so clearly I went a little crazy at Amazon, Partially because I'm doing this live stream partially because I just wanted to try out a bunch of new stuff There's a bunch of stuff that I had been thinking about and like while vlogmas was going on I was like, I don't have time to like look through all of this So I just went ahead and did an order for all of it first things first. I got this hat. I'm gonna try some of this on during oh, My camera's dying. Okay new battery. Let's do this I decided that I'm gonna try on some of this stuff during my live stream on Wednesday Which should be the day this is going up. So if you see this Go ahead and go watch it or actually you can go watch it after the fact so i'll link it down below anyway so i'm gonna try on some of it during that and then some of it i'll try on during this video so um this hat i'm gonna try on during the live stream hats i don't really look good in hats but i decided to buy a few to try this is a cute like cream colored one um it's fu really funny because the top says palm is inside there you go there's it's like a snap that's kind of nice i guess you can wash the hat then if you don't want to obviously you can't wash the palm <laughs> okay well <laughs> i feel like the palm looks really funny but i guess it doesn't well maybe it needs a trim maybe it's just be outside its box for a few minutes okay. thing i got oh this is like a hat and scarf set i really wanted a black hat and this is really nice this is a very circular palm um this looks like a big hat which is great because i feel like i have a big head um and then this is the scarf that goes with it which i just thought would be nice to have like a matching little set oh and then this this is what i was talking about i bought myself a new water bottle so that i feel inspired i honestly wanted the stanley cup but they were sold out and i just saw their back in stock but whatever i already got this one um it's this gigantic this is 40 ounces uh it has a straw but you can also take the straw out and put like a there's like a regular lid if you want all right the next thing i got are these thermal leggings i'm interested to see how these feel these are supposed to be like fleece line leggings oh wow yeah no they definitely are okay i tried the fleece line leggings these are amazing these are so comfortable they're super thick like they would definitely be warmer than just regular leggings and they feel like sweatpants on the inside i'm really happy with these i wish they were a little bit higher waisted but i think they're fine um i would wear these just to go walking in the morning they don't seem see-through or anything at all either, so I'm really happy with these. I got these because I was we're considering going skiing this weekend, and I thought these would be good under snow pants. Um, these look actually like good size. I'll try them on, but they're cute, and the inside is like this fleecy material. 
Okay, I'm super excited about this. This is an Amazon Essentials parka, like a jacket. And I love this color. I think it's so cute. It's like a teal green. Um, I have an Amazon Essentials jacket that I wear all the time, that white one or like cream colored one. So I was like, I wanna try their puffier jackets. I technically already have a couple puffers, puffers so I probably don't need this, but I just thought it was really cute in the color. I'm so excited about these. I've seen these everywhere and I just think they're so cute. Um, and honestly, I think because I've been home for the past week and a half, I'm just like, you know, you can't really have too many pairs of slippers. Um, what's this? Oh, these are snow pants. It's kind of a small bag for a pair of snow pants. I was expecting it to be huge. Um, yeah, this is what I bought for skiing this weekend. Oh, they're very blue. I guess I knew they were navy, but I wasn't really thinking about it. Um, I got the bib kind because I personally just like those the best. Um, because they like stay up all day. You would wear this under your jacket. You guys know how snow pants work. Um, but these are a size 3X, I believe. So I tried on the snow pants and they literally wouldn't go over my butt. These are a 3X and apparently they are, they run very small because these are tiny. So I guess if you want to try these, I would order them in like two sizes up. Maybe I... I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and look at some snow pant options, but I was excited about these because they're really affordable and ski stuff is expensive. So anyway, bummer, but these do not fit. Okay, next thing I got is this sweater. This is like a cardigan. Um, I don't know why I bought it in this color because I literally have like three other sweaters in this exact color, but felt right at the time. Anyway, this is cute though. It's a thin cardigan, but I have one similar to this that I'd like to go ahead and replace because it's really thin and I feel like it's starting to not look as nice. It's old from loft. Um, but I wear it all the time with like this with a black tank top and straight leg jeans. Easiest outfit ever. I wear it like probably once a week basically. Okay, take back what I said. This cardigan is amazing. I'm so happy with this. I love this color. I'm happy I got this. It, this is pretty long. It goes down to like almost my knee. Um, but it's really cute, really comfortable, super soft. I feel like I could, I'll see myself wearing this so much, especially like, you wear this over a dress, like, I just, I think it's cute. I could see myself wearing it a ton, so I would highly recommend this. I'm excited about this. These, these are the things that I just like added to my cart when I really didn't need to, but I got this set of like fuzzy socks. I haven't bought fuzzy socks in the longest time and these are like so cute. They have little, I hope these are big enough, but they just have like little stripes on the ankle. Um, I just thought they were really cute and just for fun and I don't really have any. And last week I really missed having some fuzzy socks, I'll be honest. Oh, these I'm, in, I'm into. Um, these are these pair of like mitten gloves. Um, I've always wanted a pair of these, but I've never had some, so I'm excited like that okay so it's like this it's like little fingerless gloves and then you can put the mitten over them that's kind of nice these actually fit really nice i have pretty big hands but these work all right this is the good stuff okay some of these sweaters don't actually come in plus sizes these are I'm, i bought like the xxls but i've heard that they run really big so i'm interested to see if they work because i've seen them on other people and some of them have Ooh, this is very soft this is like a turtleneck tunic sweater um it's longer in the back has like a seam down the middle it's very stretchy and it looks plenty big this is the xxl and i feel like i probably could have even gone down one this is this is the best this is so freaking cute this is so comfortable sorry i don't know if i can get far enough back um, it's longer in the back. I could definitely wear this one with leggings. Like it's, it's definitely long enough and it's a little looser in the body. Um, it's so comfortable, so soft. I love the turtleneck. This material is like super stretchy. It's like ribbed. Um, I don't know. I just think it's really cute. I kind of want to buy this in another color because I don't know if this color is the best color on me. And I feel like with this material and shape, I'm going to wear this all the time. So I want it to be a good color for me. Okay. I bought these because I saw someone recommend them and they're the Amazon, the drop jeans. They're a skinny jean. And I was like, I've never tried Amazon jeans. Like I love most of the stuff I've ever gotten from the drop collections. So I was like, let's try them. These look like they'd be really nice. They're just a really classic pair of denim, but I don't know. I think they're gonna be great. I think I got these in a size 
36. It might be tight, a little bit tight, depends, but we'll have to try it. Fluffy. Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay, this is like this big teddy bear coat. Oh, this is so fuzzy. This looks so comfortable. You know how like the coat jacket cardigan thing is kind of in to like just wear like a big coat, coat again, I think is what people are calling them. Um, so this is kind of that vibe, but kind of like a teddy bear coat, which I feel like was popular a few years ago. Anyway, it has like a big collar and it's just this like cozy coat, but it's lined actually, which is nice. This looks like it'd be so comfortable. I'm worried it might be kind of hot though, because it's really thick. This one is like, they like shrink wrapped it. Oh, oh my God, it like expands. This is like a mattress. This is, this is like a full zip, like fuzzy sweater. I don't know if I like this color. This looks really similar to what I'm wearing right now, but this is like a full zip version. This is really cute. I've, I've tried on something very similar from Abercrombie like this. Um, and I returned it because it was too hot. So this might have the same problem. I also tried on these two jackets, this fuzzy black one and this fuzzy brown one. They both fit, they're both a little bit too small. They're both XXLs and that's the largest size they make, but also they're getting stuff like little fuzzies on everything. So I think I'm gonna return them. I also just don't think the look, they, they don't really look like what they look like in the picture. I don't think I could dress them up as much as they look like they could be dressed up. So these are a no for me. Oh, this is like the mock neck one. Okay, this also looks like it's plenty big enough. Um, it has a little mock neck. It's a very wide mock neck, so it's definitely not gonna be tight. But I think this is so cute and it's very soft, like super stretchy and soft. I love this color too. You guys know I love this color. I wear it pretty much as often as possible. Okay, this sweater, it's so good. This is so comfortable. I love this mock neck. Like, I think it's so cute. It's almost like a boat neck mock neck. I think this is so cute. It's so stretchy. Sleeve length is amazing. I, the length, it comes down to like mid butt on me. So like I could probably wear this with leggings, especially if I was just hanging at home. It's so cozy. I think this would be so cute with my leather leggings, the Spanx for leather leggings, but also just in like tucked into jeans. Um, I think it's really cute and it's very comfortable. It's like a super soft material, not super thick, but still like has a lot of structure to it. I really like this. I would recommend this to literally everyone. Um, I would say it probably fits up to a size 22. This is the extra large. Um, so just use that information to figure out your size. <laughs> Last thing I got is this white top, which is not very wintry, but I just saw it and thought it was cute and it is long sleeved. So I thought this would be a really great like transition to spring. It is like pretty sheer. I wonder if it's see-through, I don't know. I feel like with the right bra, it's probably fine. Um, but it's just this cute little like eyelet top. This would be awesome, obviously, for the summer and spring. But I just kind of wanted to try it. I feel like it might be a little tight in the shoulders by holding it up, but I don't know. We'll have to try it on and see what we think. As suspected, this top is way too small. Um, yeah, it's like really tight across my boobs. It's also pretty sheer. So I might try this top again because I do think the neckline is really cute. And I think I would wear this a lot, but I think I'm gonna try it in a color and I think I'm gonna try it in like a 4X. This is a 2X. And I feel like to accommodate my chest, I need at least a 4X. So if you get this one, just size up like one or two sizes if you have a similar shape to me. All right, I hope you guys liked that try on. I really didn't intend to do two try ons on this video, but I hope you guys like it. Um, everything else I'm gonna show on my Amazon live stream. So I'll link it down below and you guys can check it out there. It's about four o'clock and I'm feeling like I'm pretty much done with work. The only thing I need to do is prep for that Amazon live. And honestly, this office just needs like a good clean. Um, and then I'm gonna, at five, my new routine is going to be at five. I put in a load of laundry and then I start doing my cleaning for the day. So um, once a week, it's going to be like, it's supposed to be an hour long. You're supposed to set a timer for an hour um, and it's called your weekly home blessing, but it's basically just like your weekly clean. Um, and it's the list that I have is to clear all the surfaces, vacuum, dust, mop, polish mirrors and doors and empty trash. Honestly, this weekend we did some cleaning, so I'm not as worried about vacuuming and mopping um, but I do think our house could use a good dusting. Um, I'd love to wash some of the windows. Like we have, I just have a, I haven't like windexed the windows in a long time. I did some downstairs this weekend and was like, wow, these are so clear. So I want to do that. And then, um, empty trash cans and yeah, mirrors and doors. And then yeah, clear all the surfaces. 
I'm working on that. Our house, we took down Christmas this weekend and it feels so much better in our house, but I know there's still stuff I can clean up. So um, that's the plan. I think I'm gonna put a podcast on. The dam is breaking in It was bound to happen Cause your heart is caving in So why you bother This is not Okay, it's so dark down here, but this is my, this is, this is as clean as it's gonna get. I think this is pretty good. All right, guys, I finished up my cleaning. I think it went really well. An hour is a long time. I know this is probably not, but I didn't realize how much I could get done in an hour. Um, I set an alarm on my Apple Watch and honestly had extra time, partially because we cleaned this weekend, but I feel like if that's the thing with this whole method is that you're consistently cleaning, so it's never getting super bad that you have to like, take a ton of time. Anyway, uh, and then I put on this sweat set because I love it. I'm so excited to be able to wear it. And we're gonna go, Max is making dinner right now. I'm gonna go fold a bunch of laundry and then we're just gonna watch TV and go to bed. So I'm gonna finish the vlog up here because literally nothing else exciting is gonna happen the rest of the night. Please be sure to comment down below what you liked about this video. Is there anything you guys want me to try out? Like suggestions for videos? I'm happy to make whatever you guys are interested in. Please like this video, it really helps my channel. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video. I'm gonna post every Every single Wednesday um, so I'm super excited to have you guys here and I can't wait for this year on YouTube so I appreciate you guys so much have a good rest of your day love you bye